Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Guntur Medical College, Department of Anatomy. In this dissection video, we will see the anatomical features of the spleen. What I am holding is the spleen dissected from the human cadaver. Spleen occupies the left hypochondrium, extending a little to the epigastrium. So we will see now how to hold the spleen in the anatomical position. Before that, you should know the ends, then only you will be able to show. This is the medial end and this is the lateral end. So medial end is, uh, when you compare this medial end and lateral end, medial end is narrow than the lateral end. The medial end should be kept slightly posterior. So this is the left hypochondria. So the medial end should be kept slightly posterior and the lateral end should be kept anterior. And the diaphragmatic surface, what I am holding, this is the diaphragmatic surface, should be kept in this palm of the hand. And the visceral surface should slightly face downwards. So this is the anatomical position of the spleen. Now we will see in detail about the features of the spleen. This medial end is otherwise called, as I was telling, this is slightly posterior near the T10 vertebral spine. So this is the medial end. If you say this is the lateral end or we can call it as lateral border also. So this is the lateral border. And this is the superior, uh, superior border and another is the inferior border. And this surface is the diaphragmatic surface and this surface is the visceral surface. So the superior border will have the notches in the uh, margin but it is not prominent in this spleen. So this notches in the superior border indicate the development of the spleen from the lobules and this is the inferior border. If you see this diaphragmatic surface, it is related to the diaphragm, outside the diaphragm, the ribs and the costal spaces. So first relation is this diaphragmatic surface. Then this is the visceral surface. In the visceral surface, you are having an intermediate border and this is the hilum of the spleen. So this, this is the visceral surface as a whole. This upper part is related to the gastric impression and this lower part it is related to the yes this is the lower part of the visceral surface related to the left colic flexure so that is called as the colic impression that left colic flexure will be otherwise called as the splenic flexure and this part is related to the renal impression anterior surface of the left kidney through the hilum splenic vessels enter so this is the splenic vessels enter in the hilum of the spleen if you see again this lateral border this junction of the superior border and the lateral border this will be called as the anterior basal angle so this is the anterior basal angle or clinical angle of the spleen otherwise when the spleen enlarges this angle is palpated just below the costal margin when the patient is lying down like this the first part of the spleen which is to be palpated is this, this anterior basal angle or the clinical angle of the spleen Junction of the inferior border and the lateral border will be called as the posterior basal line. So the spleen is an easy topic in the if you are given in the practical exams. It has two ends, medial end or posterior end and the anterior end or the lateral end, superior margin and the inferior margin and the intermediate margin. And this is the diaphragmatic surface and this is the visceral surface. Visceral surface is related to the stomach left colic flexure and also to the left renal anterior surface of the left kidney and this is the hilum related to the tail of the pancreas and also to the splenic vessels i hope you should have understood this very simple topic spleen with the next dissection of the abdominal organs we will see in the next video thank you